Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another episode of What's Shaving with Angelo. I'm Angelo, and today's going to be a good day and a good shave. And, and I'm creating a new tag video that I call Prize Winning Shave. Now, what do you, now you may be asking, what is a prize winning shave, Angelo? And I will tell you, a prize winning shave can, can, can be defined in a few categories. A shave that you use items, one thing, one, te one definition would be a shave video that you do where you use item, an item or items that you want from either wet shave meetups, virtual wet shave meetups, piffs, raffles, you name it. Like if it's, a, if it's a wet shaving item you want in a contest of some sort or a raffle of some sort, use, use that in your shave video if you're tagged in this challenge. Another definition of prize winning shave video would be, would be two things. Your most prized shave possessions that you want to use in the video, or shave items, items in your den that just work spectacularly no matter how you use it. So, for my shave of the day, I'm using items that I won in, in various raffle, in various contests, raffles, giveaways. So, let's get down to business. For the blade of choice, I'm going with my go-to blade, Boss God. Razor of choice. This one, I this is something I won for my very first shave meetup in 2017 when I went to the East Coast Wet Shavers meetup. It's the Clenestique wooden handle safety razor with the rainbow design. This is a really great razor. My friend Curse George swears by this as, as his daily driver. So that's the razor I'll be using. Brush of choice. Something I recently won from the most recent East Coast Wet Shavers virtual meetup. I won the, the That Darn Rob shave brush with the 26 millimeter, with the 26 millimeter badger knot of Fanchorian version six, let me face it, a, a Fanchorian V6 knot with the, the, from That Darn Rob with the That Darn Rob handle. And I won this in, as part of their raffle for the soap splash and even, and, and EDP of choice. This is something I won from Phoenix Shavings late most recent t-shirt contest. I'm going to be using Mega Flora by Afougere by PAA. And I, I had a sample of this from the virtual meetup. And when I won the contest from PAA of the best shirt photo, they gave me my choice of any soap or so, of any set of soap splash and EDP. And the scent to this product of Megaflora. The scent notes that I've written down are French lavender, bergamot, petit grain, rose geranium, tonka bean, clary sage, fir needle, pine, juniper, chamomile, bamboo, cedarwood, Haitian vetiver, rose absolute, hay absolute, and oak moss absolute. To my nose, it's a, it's a wonderfully, beautifully made Green fougere, floral green fougere. So I'll be using the soap along with the aftershave that came with it. And to top it all off, I'm going to be using a little bit of the EDP of Mega Flora that I also won from the, from Douglas Mice, um, contest he held. Now I'm going to tag, hold on. I'm going to tag three people to do this challenge. First person I'm going to tag is Drew Williams of Stubble Assassin. I, you're tagged to do the prize winning shave challenge. Second person I'm going to tag, Paul Humphreys of Paul H. Films. And third person I'm going to tag, Rich Hansen of Shaving with Rich. So let's wet, so let's get to shaving. I'm going to wet the face, lather up, and start the first pass with the green. So how's everyone doing out there? Having good shaves? Let me know in the comments.
And now I'm just getting the knot of the, the bristles of this that darn Rob V6 Panchurian knot really wet. Funny thing with this knot is now mind you I'm not all I'm not really a badger fan, but this was this was a freebie that I won with and I didn't even have to pay shipping for it. But I know this is a high-end knot and a high-end brush maker. And Rob Moffitt of That Darn Rob, he really does a great job making beautiful handles all the time. I have another handle of his, but normally they're way, normally if I was to buy a complete brush with handle with the knot he makes, it would be a, a, quite a bit out of my price range. But already I got it nice and wet and I got a really good ladder going on with the PA CK6. This I should note this is the CK6 formula of Megaflora. And look at that. We got a nice ladder already beginning to form with this brush and soap. Just beautiful ladder and, the, and a beautiful scent. I know this was Douglas my springtime scent, but this could be an all year round scent as, as well. Personally, I think this could be, yes, this would be perfect for year-round use, not just warm weather. Or, you know, and actually I'm thinking this might be a great Fougere Friday scent, because it is a Fougere. And I'm very grateful to have won this because, like, I, the photo I used to win the contest was a photo of me. Posing in a photo op with my local Philadelphia's own Rocky Heart Troop TNP or Transylvania Nipple Production. I, in one time when back last year, I got a chance to pose with a photo with some of my friends in Transylvania Nipple Production. That's Philly's Rocky Horror Troop. And Douglas Smythe and Fran were both so wowed by the photo that it won the grand prize. And, and Douglas Smythe even says in his newsletter he has a soft spot for Rocky Horror. So that, and I didn't even know that at the time. I just thought it would be a cool photo. Now we're going to show you with the first pass with the Clenistique wooden handle razor. That I, and I won this at my first shave meetup I ever went to in spring of 2017 at the East Coast West Shavers. Back then it was their third annual meetup. And it's got a lot of audio. This razor has quite a bit of audio feedback, which is which I love to have in a razor. That lets me know how the shave is going. And the blade I'm using, this package, this blade from the pack of blades I'm using, Voskod, came with, packaged with my That Darn Raw brush I'm using in today's shave. So when I, you know, as a bonus freebie with the, with the brush I've worn. So when you think about it, every item I'm using in today's shave is a win, is a prize winning item.
Just an excellent first pass so far. With excellent products. And the thing to know about Phoenix Arsenal Kutramon's CK6 formula. Is that you want to have a very wet brush when lathering their CK6 soaps. Because the CK6 formula... in my opinion, is extremely thirsty. Okay, that's the first pass finish. We're gonna do the second pass across the grain. Re-wet the face, re-lather, add some more water to the brush possibly. But that first pass really knocked down a lot of stubble. Now, and I'm dealing with roughly 24 hours worth of stubble, right, for today's shade. Roughly 24 hours. Maybe a little bit more. But generally speaking, 24 hours of stubble is what I'm working with. Gonna run some more warm water on the brush. Get a little more moisture in there. Because as I said, the CK6 formula of Douglas Mice PAA soaps, they are thirsty. But sometimes that's a good so that's but usually a thirsty soap is an indicator of a really good soap. So I add a little more water. You know, like a thirsty soap means it's it's absorbing all the goodness of the soap and the brush, you know, or, or, sorry. I think, a thir in my opinion, a, a thirsty soap means it's going to be very slick, very protective. And this soap is both very slick and very protective. Once you get the perfect amount of water to product ratio. Ladder is just so creamy, slick, and dense. You gotta love their soaps. Especially the CK6. Once you get the right amount of water to soap ratio, it is it is like shaving with but it is like butter. As they said as they used to say in an SNL skit years ago, like butter. I think Mike Myers was the one that coined that phrase. In an SNL skin plate. Okay, time for the second pass across the green. And I will say, if you're a fan of floral fougeres, I would, I highly recommend you give it, you try out at least PAs, Mega Flora shave soap after and after shave, or at least try the soap first and see how you like, it. or at least get a sample of the soap or a sample of the after shave. And see how you like it. But I'm telling you, if you love a fougere that's that's somewhat floral, or, or quite floral actually, this is the soap to get. Like if you like your fougere to be a mixture of greens and floral notes, of 
grab this soap while you can. Because this is an ex it's, it lathers excellently once you get in enough water in your brush. And, and the lather you get is thick, slick, and creamy. Once you get the right portion, proportions of water to soap ratio. And one word of advice I would give for PAA CK6 soaps is I would recommend that if you have a CK6 soap, my, what I do with them is after I'm done shaving with them, I let them air dry for a few hours before I put the lid back on them. And even Douglas Smith himself recommends this practice to some degree with, with many soaps he uses and makes because he says, one, it'll harden the soap, which over time will make the soap last longer. Two, your your the, the moisture in the soap that you, you that got in there from the lathering will dry up, and it's just according to Douglas Smith, I saw in one of his old videos, it's just a good idea to let your soaps air dry in between uses, or at least let it. Air, in my opinion, if you let it air dry for a few hours. Or even overnight, you should be good to go. Because it'll harden, the soap will harden, but it'll stay, but it'll keep the integrity of the soap intact. And the soap will be much more usable, or more user friendly. Than it would be with other, than it would be if you just put the lid on it right after you're done lathering. Or done shaving, I should say. I have a tendency to do this not just with my PA CK6 formula soaps, but I also use this with my what the, with my wet the face soaps, and even one or two of my razor rock soaps. I use it this method just to pres preserve the soap and get better results out of it, and it tends to work. Went in the face of the third and final pass against the green. Try my hands. And I will admit, the razor I'm using, this the Clenestique razor, I don't use it very often, but every time I use it, I get a great shave out of it. I'm not sure why, maybe because I always get new razors every so often, or maybe it's just like tucked in the corner of somewhere where I'm not paying attention in my collection of razors. But this is a good razor, a very nice razor indeed. That's a good ladder right there. Time for the third and final pass against the green.
so far a really good shave. And I really like the waistline of this razor. Like right here, it gives me a little better grip control. Or a little better control of the razor and a little better grip on the razor, especially on the against the grain passes. Or the get the razor. It really gives me a lot more control over the razor, especially on my against the grain pass. It just makes things much more easier to deal with. That finishes the shaving part of it. Let's take it. That finishes the third pass. Gonna rinse off the face, dry it up, and put on the aftershave, and then apply the EDP of Megaflora by PAA. Time for a little Mega Flora aftershave. Then I'm gonna spray on my wrist one time each. The Mega Flora EDP. Lovely scent. Just a lovely, as I said before, floral, floral green fougere scent. It's just I can't now. Don't mind, don't mind me. I can't detect. Certain scent notes as easily as I wish I could, but it, it is a very green very floral scent base And definitely if you love a, if you love a good fougere scent look into mega flora by PAA Especially if you're not especially if you're not opposed to a floral fougere Because there are plenty of green notes in this as well Now the EDP or Al de Parfum And let me tell you, this EDP is way stronger than the aftershave and shave soap combined. Well, everybody, that's the end of today's video. Wish you all having, I uh, wish you all to have good shaves and good days. And remember, I'm tagging Drew Williams of Stubble Assassin, Paul H, Paul Humphreys of Paul H Films, and Rich Hansen of Rich Man Shaving to do the prize winning shave challenge I created. Have a good day, everyone. Goodbye.